Time for our car connection duo. The prototype Intimidator Monte Carlo. And a very special Corvette. You heard from John Moss, retired special projects manager for General Motors. I believe I just saw John headed for the auction block as these two cars come up for auction. Now there's a lot of legalese going on right now as General Motors is disavowing any warranty or description of suitability for these cars as they uh, will turn into private hands. Yeah, in fact, when you look on the car cars, we call these car cars. Each car that comes across the block gets one of these. You see the big bold number of Derek Jackson. At the very bottom, it says, conveyed to buyer with a scrap title. May not be driven on public roads. Now, this car doesn't deviate too much from production. It still has a transverse mounted V6 on a real drive conversion. But it's still got a lot of excellent handwork and work in it. I love the stainless steel underhood areas here. The engine's not stopped by any stretch. It's got a fabricated intake manifold, but it is still a V6 transverse mounted public drive. Now, this car cannot be registered. It's being sold on a scrap title. And believe it or not, yes, it presents as a Monte Carlo, but, you know, GM could build these cars out of just about anything. They have the resources. This car was originally titled as a 1997 Pontiac Grand Prix. Here's John Moss. Three things. They introduced the nameplate for the Monte Carlo in 2000. But also, what you see there, was when we showed it at the 99 Auto Show, it, would, it uh, is really a production car, or a pre-production car underneath, and we did the, another thing with... Redu reintroducing the Monte Carlo nameplate uh, for the Winston uh, Cup series uh, in 2000. And so we had Dale Earnhardt on stage. It was actually modeled after Dale Earnhardt. We had Dale Earnhardt set in the uh, seating buck. We looked at the designs, proved it. If you see, we got a hologram of the number three on the on the sides and on the roof, plus all the uh, nomenclature for the, for the number three car. So this is a very, very rare car. We had it at Texas Motor Speedway at over 100 and some miles an hour, so it's a real, it's a real mover besides just look good, looking good. Six now, eight, here around Newton, North Carolina, you might have seen this car displayed at Dale Earnhardt Chevrolet before it was retired to the GM Heritage Collection. I worked at Hot Rod for a bunch of years, and John Moss was our tour anytime he had something new going on. He was the caretaker of the toy box. We'd go out and see John Moss, he was new out there, and uh, a great host. He's now retired, but a legend of Chevrolet show cars.